Warm greetings to all. I would like to begin this technical presentation by thanking DST, Texas Instruments and NSSL IM Bangalore. Problems we are trying to solve. Parents in the present world are busy in their professional life, so they do not get sufficient time to take care of their babies. Today's woman has to manage home along with their office work simultaneously. Moreover, in today's lifestyle, it is very difficult even for the housewives to sit nearby their infants. In addition to the above, it is also necessary to monitor the health condition of the baby at a periodical interval. Thus, there is a need for a smart cradle at affordable cost which helps the parents to take care of their babies. Now we will walk you through the various elements of a technical video. Starting with the TI components, we are using a MSP432 launch pad for collecting information from the sensors and processing it. For sending data to the cloud, currently we are using the CC3100 boost. We are using a Kentec UVGA display as a touch and display interface. We are using the analog components TMP007 and OPT3001 on the boost pixel sensors. For demonstrating the action of a cradle, we are inducing a baby cry through external speakers. When the baby movement is inside the cradle, the cradle begins to swing in a higher speeds. For lullaby, we are using the audio capacitor booster pad. For the display interface, we are using a Kentec UVGA display. Now we are sending all the display uh, information through a refreshed uh, cycle. We are also printing the Wi-Fi network name and the status of connection and also the single signal strength once it is connected to the network. We are using a boost Excel sensors as a sensor interface. This has two analog sensors, the CMP007 and OPT3001. We are using the ThinkSpeaks cloud service to send data through IoT. We are mapping the data we are sending through different fields. Field, there are totally eight fields of which two are string fields. String values cannot be visualized on the ThinkSpeak cloud itself. Uh, the ThinkSpeak service has an additional advantage of sending data through the JSON protocol. We can receive the data through a JSON protocol and other dashboard platforms like the Freeboard. We are now using the Freeboard platform for visualizing the data. We are receiving the data through the ThinkSpeak's JSON ID and then mapping it to respective fields like the signal strength map to field 8. We are receiving the baby image as a static URL from the code. Further improvements can be made for an existing cradle structure. A redesign structure which includes a stepper motor and the axle can provide a small form factor. And regarding the power supply, power supply should be designed more efficiently and the battery size should be reduced. Inclusion of TA's MM wave sensors can provide the cradle the healthcare monitoring facilities. A cradle is used only for a period of one to one and a half years. So we have planned to provide an add-on kit which transforms the cradle into a healthcare monitoring kit which can be used as a healthcare monitor after it's used as a cradle. I thank DST, Texas Instruments and NSR Cell IAM Bangalore for providing this golden opportunity.